driving into a tunnel and on the map you can still see I'll put that in full screen you can still see that the car is moving along the road what is interesting here is that it actually keeps its position so um, how does that work? well it is um, it is slightly technical but that's that that would be me so um, I can explain this and I will in uh, soon uh, I will I will uh, first explain what the car does um, the car has a exact measurement of how many turns the wheel turns around and after comparing the GPS with uh, with the distance traveled uh, and the rotation of the wheel it knows pretty much exactly how far it goes on one rotation of the wheel so it can judge its own position but the car here doesn't actually follow the route and if you look at the nav you will see that this tunnel isn't even marked so how does that work? well now looking at the uh, the tunnel you will see that I'm off the road see that? and I'm most definitely on the road but we follow the follow the navigation a little bit more see I'm moving closer to the exit of the tunnel and here I'll pop back on the road, I guess, when the GPS kicks back in. Yep. Alright. So, you saw the car actually being quite far away from the actual road on the, on, on the map. And the reason for that is that the car actually uses the steering input, the angle of the steering wheel, and data that it has on how the car will act, and it actually... Um, it actually calculates where it is which is kind of interesting it, it actually calculates its own position in the tunnel and it will um, it, it will extrapolate and figure out okay I traveled 10 meters forward and uh, with the steering wheel it, at uh, a certain angle it, it will be um, it, 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 I will have gotten to this position, so it just extrapolates where it was and 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 how far it's gone in in a direction one way or another, and in the end, uh, it can pretty much exactly say where it is, even though it doesn't have any external reference like like GPS. So that's kind of interesting. Now, um, I've seen multiple times that in the tunnels the actual maps are not as accurate as they should have been uh, especially on Google Maps the tunnel we, drive, we drove through now from what I can see through my windshield and how the tunnel actually looks uh, the car is better at plotting the position than the map is on plotting where the tunnel is so that's kind of interesting now we're coming up on the new tunnel so i guess Bjorn will cut a little bit but I'll, I'll put the camera on on the map and you'll see right so let's let's try that now here's the tunnel coming up and i will record the map straight now but if you look in the tunnel I'm still following Bjorn in a bend and it's straightening out about now which on the map is completely wrong right but right now I'm going pretty straight on a slight right turn and the map see I'm moving closer to the to, to the map position of the tunnel using the steering input it knows exactly how much I turned it 
knows exactly how far I've driven. So it's just, yeah, put the dot on the map really and just add to, add, add to the direction of travel and the distance traveled and, and then you can extrapolate. This is what they do when navigating boats as well. So that's, that is actually kind of interesting. So um, we're now back on the, on the road, but we're still inside the tunnel. No GPS signal. And the poor navigation has no idea where we are because uh, the navigation in the Model S is not actually based on Google Maps, which the display is. So um, uh, that, that is kind of, a <laughs> kind of strange because the navigation isn't updated with this new tunnel. Uh, so we're trying to send me through a very long route actually. Okay, but now we're coming closer to the end of the tunnel, so... Okay, see, now we're starting to turn. And this is a very, uh, very constant uh, radius of this turn, so the map seems to be quite wrong. It says that there's a really sharp bend, but it really isn't. And now we come to the exit, and let's see how, how far from the exit we'll hit. Okay, no GPS through this tunnel, and boom. The car has calculated us to be about 10 meters away from where the GPS now picked us up. So, it's quite accurate, surprisingly accurate in my mind, and, um, and that's kind of cool. So, um, that, that would be me nerding again. I uh, hope you find it as interesting as I do. Alright, over and out.